Hello, my name is Tom Wilkinson and I teach the history of India at the London School of Economics. I also teach a course on empire in Asia and Africa. I'm the course director for the LSE Choice Programme and the first thing that I want to say to you all is congratulations on being accepted onto the program because it's fiercely competitive. The LSE Choice program is about giving talented young people the necessary tools to successfully apply to the LSE and to other highly competitive universities. And there's just two things that I'd like to briefly say about that. The first one is, if you've managed to get into this program, then it demonstrates that you absolutely have the potential to go on to a top world-class university. And for that reason, I would advise you all and recommend to you all to be ambitious and confident in your applications, uh, in the applications that you will go on to submit. The second thing I'd like to say is you may want to consider using the course content that we're going to cover over the next five days and the themes in which we'll interact with such as what is colonialism imperialism how did these former colonies transition to being independent nation states you may want to use these themes to help write your personal statement in order to give you the best possible chance of having a cutting cutting edge personal statement Another thing I want to say to you all is welcome to the LSE's summer school. In ordinary times, we would currently be meeting in a seminar room or a lecture theatre in the LSE's Holborn campus. But, and it doesn't need me to necessarily remind you of this, we are not in ordin ordinary times. In fact, far from it. But nevertheless, we've got a really exciting five day program ahead. And let me tell you a little bit about this program. Firstly, we're going to consider what is India and some of the, its geography and some of the basic features of its history. Then we're going to consider the nature of colonialism in India. Was colonialism a good thing or was it a bad thing? Or do we need a slightly more complex and nuanced understanding to colonialism in India? Thirdly, what was the role of Mahatma Gandhi in the Indian freedom struggle? Fourthly, we'll consider partition in South Asia and how the countries of Pakistan, India, and Bangladesh emerged. Finally, we'll consider what are the meanings of independence in South Asia and what was the legacy of colonialism in the early post-colonial period. This course will give you an introduction to modern India between the years 1885 and 1965. In the corner of the screen right now, there's my email address and also my Twitter handle. If any of you want to get in touch with me, please don't hesitate. This is a good opportunity for me to tell you a little bit about Indian history and a few important features of modern India. So now is a good time to get your notepad out. Today, India is the largest democracy in the world. Its population is around 
billion people and by the year 2028 it's predicted that India will surpass China as being the largest country in the world. India is distinguished by its rich diversity and although it has although it's often considered to be a Hindu country it has a substantial Muslim population in addition to having populations who define themselves as Sikh, Jains, Buddhist, Christians, Jews and Zoroastrians. It has 22 official languages and that includes Hindi and also English. There were many different empires and even civilizations that come from the Indian subcontinent. Although it was in the 1600s when the British began to establish trading posts in and around the coasts of India. This company that established the trading posts in India came to be called the British East India Trading Company, which ruled the Indian subcontinent until 1858 because it was in 1857 that Indians rose up and revolted against the British East India Trading Company and almost very almost kicked them out. After 1857 the government of India was established and India became a formal colony of the British government. In 1920, as the British thought they had control over the entire Indian subcontinent, Mahatma Gandhi commenced a non-violent struggle against colonial rule and won independence for India in 1947. If you have any questions over the course of the week, please don't hesitate to shoot myself or the course assistance and email. And I look forward to discussing and debating many of the things that I've discussed on this video with you over the next five days during our live sessions. Thanks very much and I look forward to speaking to you all.